Jens Pulver, B.J. Penn. We'll meet again. Pulver, big right hand by Penn, early right by away. B.J. Looking uppercut again. Another right hand by B.J. B.J. pushing forward. And the takedown. Good start for Penn. This is very dangerous for him here. BJ is in his half guard. He's gonna look to soften off with punches and then pass. Watch BJ's right leg when it swings out. If he can grab a hold and secure Jen's body, he's gonna try to swing his right leg. There he goes. He's a master technician at the ground game. Well, he's, he's also a very unusual guy to prepare for because of the dexterity that he has in his legs. He can make himself do some very strange things with his legs. He just can, can move them in ways that most people can't, and it's very difficult to prepare for a guy like that. Ben pulls his head out. Jens is doing a good job so far of avoiding anything. Jens is trying to stand back up. BJ's got him again. And Dots a takedown. Yep. Same position. Same position, half guard. BJ securing Jens' body. And once he gets a real good spot, then he's going to look to finish. But so far, Jens is doing a great job of keeping that knee, his left knee, in between him and BJ, and forcing BJ to constantly move. Jens trying to weather this early storm. All right, BJ just locked down on Jen's leg. The only thing protecting him now, he's, he's still in half guard. BJ gets that underhick to the left side now, and he has the mount. This is bad. He has passed Jen's Palmer's guard. And BJ's mount is very different than most people's mount. His arm, he's got his arm. Can he finish with the arm? He said he wants he's to. He's got it. Spinning he's got out it. is Palmer. it. Palmer. Can he get away? He did for a moment. Wow, that was close. That was so Very close. Good job by Jens Palmer, but he spun right into a triangle. This is where BJ is so dynamic, Joe. One of the best in the world. Fastest American ever to achieve a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Looking to lock down on Palmer here. Still tons of time remains in round one. Jens trying to posture up to break it. And BJ said that he wants to break Jens' left shoulder. And that, coincidentally, is the arm that he's got trapped inside the triangle. Pulver with some body shots. Or not so coincidentally. Can Jens pull out of this one? Jens with good posture. And Jens he does! Separates. Good job by Jens Pulver. He has survived twice. <laughs> Two of the most popular fighters in UFC history. Pulver trying to score some points here in round one. Pulver's got BJ pushed up against the cage. Push off, don't grab it. You hear Steve Mazzagatti tell him to push off the fence, don't grab it. He would like to spin out of this position and get his feet up against the cage so he can maneuver his body better. Pulver, ironically, right in front of teammates Robbie Lawler and Matt Hughes. And you see Hughes just in the background, just shouting out instructions to his longtime friend and training partner. Elbow by Pulver. And Bobby Lawler just jumped out of his seat when he saw that. <laughs> the one thing that Jens Pulver wants to do is break the spirit of BJ Penn. He was able to do it in the first matchup. It took a while. And keep in mind, too, Joe, this is a three-round fight, not a five-round fight. BJ's looking to stand up, and he does. And they do. Great first round. BJ with a jab. Jens has outstanding hands and knockout power. But BJ's hands are often overlooked because he's so great on the ground. Good uppercut right there by BJ. Pulver answers some questions here in round one. Good left by BJ and a good left by Jens. Good knee by Jens. Both men teeing off in the clinch. 20 seconds remains in the first round. Jens working that dirty boxing with that right hand behind BJ's head. High kick, kick by Jens. 
What a way to get started here tonight. It looked like Penn almost had the armbar, but we will move to round number two. Former welterweight champion, future Hall of Famer Matt Hughes. Jens Pulver. BJ right, Penn. You ready? You ready? Bring it on, come Jens on. Jens said he was reborn. Jens was getting instruction in the corner from Pat Militich. He was telling him, be careful because BJ's trying to time you with that uppercut. Right hand by BJ. Penn. Oh, good left hand by Pulver. And the takedown by Penn. Yo, holy shit. You know, the interesting thing is if you remember the fight against John Lewis, one punch knockout power is what Pulver has in that left hand. You gotta work on BJ. BJ must continue to keep the pace that he set in round number one. BJ's looking to pass. He's throwing some shots, and he's looking to get to the left side of uh, Pulver's body. We've seen BJ overwhelm a George St. Pierre and a Matt Hughes early in the fight, and then, unfortunately for Penn fans, fall to defeat. But he claims he has never been in better condition. He's healthy. He has changed his mental and physical game. Motivated by this particular matchup with Jens Pulver looking to pass again. He's just about there. Good job by Jens of sneaking that leg out. See how he's doing that? Sneaking that left leg out and using it. Gets that butterfly back in. Very nice job by Jens Pulver. Pulver trying to strike from the bottom. And BJ's going to push that leg down and try to mount again. And, and he he's it. got it. He's got it now. He's got the he's got the mount in. Flattening out Jens Pulver. 90 seconds into round number two. Jens is taking some shots. Penn delivering punishment to Little Evil. He was shook off in the first round from this position. So he's got to be careful here. Jens is constantly moving, constantly making him work. But he's extending that left arm. It's almost like he's inviting BJ to take the arm bar. Well, all BJ wanted to do was have the ultimate fighter come to conclusion so he could do exactly this. Try to win against Jens Pulver. Jens is getting battered here now. Jens is in trouble here in round number two. Penn with the full mount for the second time in the fight. Pulver trying again. to spin. Can he posture up? Can he get out of this? He did it in the first round, Joe. Well, the only way he's going to be able to get out of here is the back door. He's got to try to shake BJ off and shake him forward. But it's, it's just so hard to do. And BJ's going to try to drag him back. I mean, BJ's mount and his back control are just so good. Tons of time remains in the second round. Penn wants that arm. He's flattening him out. He'll be happy to take the net. Good job by Jens Pulver in defending. Oh, BJ trapped his left arm. This could be the and beginning of the end. That's what I'm talking end. about with the dexterity. The with the choke. Oh, that's sunk. That's sunk. And that's it. it's all that's all right. over. Oh, BJ, BJ Penn chokes out Jens Pulver. The beginning of the end was when BJ used his left arm. And I talked about this crazy dexterity that he has with his legs. And I've, I've talked to people that have rolled with him, and they say his legs are literally like arms. As soon as he locks that leg over and traps Jen's arm, then he's much, he, he has one less arm to defend the choke. BJ sinks it in. And a very disappointed Matt Hughes watches his friend get tapped out. With the same submission, by the way, that he got Matt Hughes in. Great point.